brief look at what's new in iOS 14 Beta 5. So most of you probably realize already that you can hide photos in the Photos app simply by tapping the share button and selecting the hide option. Now, the word hide is exactly what it means. It doesn't mean that the photo is more secure or it's locked down. It's simply hidden away from all the normal places in your library. So we're gonna go ahead and tap where it says hide photo. Now it goes away from all the normal places, but if you scroll to the other album section of the albums tab in the photos app, you'll see a hidden folder. And that contains all the media within the photos app that you hid using that option in the share sheet. So right off the bat, you can probably tell what the problem or one of the problems is, is that you have the hidden folders right there within the albums tab. So it's relatively easy to find. It's even easy to stumble upon. But in iOS 14 beta 5, there is a new hidden album toggle within the photos settings. So what this does is it basically will hide that hidden album so that it no longer appears at the bottom of the photos app. Let me show you what I mean here. Under the albums tab, you no longer see that hidden folder at all. So while it doesn't really add any security, at least it makes it more obscure and more difficult to find. Now, sometimes with the featured photos widget, there'll be a photo there that you don't want to be displayed. And if that's the case, simply tap on it, tap the share sheet and select remove from featured photos. Now in beta five, you get a hybrid time picker. So it's like the best of both worlds from iOS 13 and iOS 14. So you can manually type in the time using the keypad, which is new for iOS 14, but notice this now you can actually scroll and use your picker just like you could before in iOS 13 and you get that really nice haptic feedback as well so it's like a hybrid solution it's the best of both worlds so to speak and this allows you to scroll through the time or directly enter the time using the keypad what do you guys think about that okay so another thing that's changed in beta 5 is the presence of an extra large news widget so uh, previously you had all these but if you scroll over to the very last one, you're gonna notice a supersized news widget. Indeed, a widget that is so large that it actually won't fit on the home screen. It only works in the today view of the widget center. So here you can see the home screen. I try to place the widget down. Guess what? Those icons aren't dancing out of the way. They're just staying put because they're like, hey, that ain't gonna fly. So if you wanna add that supersized news widget with all the trending topics, you simply just add it to the widget center and it appears like that. So now you can get all your top stories and your trending topics right from one place. And in beta five, you can give widgets permission to use your location for up to 15 minutes after being viewed. And this allows the widget to stay up to date. Now, if you go into the location services preferences under privacy and settings, you're gonna notice a new while using the app or widgets option. Now in the previous beta, we received a dedicated exposure notifications preference panel within the settings app. In this beta, you get a new availability alerts toggle, which will allow you to receive a notification if exposure notifications become available in your current location. So that's cool. You also get this new onboarding interface that allows you to not only learn about exposure notifications, but to actually designate where you are to see if those are available in your particular region. So I can scroll down here and just I'm gonna just choose a state at random. So I'll choose United States in. How about we just choose California? I know the exposure notifications aren't yet available there. So it'll just tell me so. And you also find a new splash screen for the shortcuts app to help you learn what's all new. And if you're a big fan of shortcuts, you'll appreciate the new addition of several new glyph options to customize the look of your shortcut. So not only can you change the color, but now there's a lot more new glyphs added to the mix here. So with these added glyph options, you can really brand your shortcut appropriate to its function. So although the AirPlay icon doesn't really have any bearing on this particular shortcut, you have plenty more to choose from to get it just right. So you know in iOS 14, where you have that beautiful nail plane interface in the music app with the background colors that complement the album artwork. Well, now as you switch between albums, you'll notice that the background colors are more responsive to change. So the background color is now much quicker to complement the album artwork in this latest beta 5. I love this feature. I think the music app is so great in iOS 14. 
What do you guys think? Let me know down below. And yes, this is probably a bug, but I did notice that the folders are a little bit more narrow here in iOS 14 beta 5. And in beta 5, when you have screen time restrictions for a certain application, you'll notice that its corresponding widget will also be restricted. So I'm gonna set up a limit here for the news app and we're just gonna browse the news here. So we'll just tap on it like that. All right, so after some time goes by and screen time shuts me down, you'll notice that not only is the app itself locked down, but also the widget is locked down as well. You can see right there, time limit, you've reached your limit on news. So ladies and gentlemen, that was a brief look at iOS 14 beta 5. Which one is your favorite new feature or change? Let me know down below in the comments section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.